why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> of thousands of colonists will have to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. If I can't save your body, I must at least save your brain. I hear monarchs in need of more game hunters. You certainly know your way around a magpick. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Africans. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably 
ray knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Thank you. 
We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. here before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in a veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some.
Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels. Hello, please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice. I am, I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, the main drive's power... Astutely observe high capacity power regulators. I have taken this cartridge. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister... I'll waive your fee since you helped us with... Edgewater's not... Now, if you'll excuse me...
Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Odd. What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you are... I'll be around if you change your mind. Monkey Argo? I'm s Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Shirt, pants, work boots, company-approved colors, the, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power, regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. 
It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale... I was not entirely sure how... The people living in the botanical labs. My hope speak to their lead. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I can You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting... Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I... Better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has... For me.
Incoming! Move along, stranger. 
We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Got anything in you besides questions? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished. Follow me around before he left the camp. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who... Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Like everything else that comes out of it. He would do such a thing. Cannery's got a regulator. If you're going down to the plant, think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. See? I trust...
Inside voices. I've always wanted to poke around in here. System. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we...
switches. That'll be easy enough. Incoming! Investigating. <laughs> Happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale. Go away, Phantom. Phantom! 
Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Something you need? Where to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do?
I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow.
That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are, chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said, so I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same f Tell Reed that I can make... Tell him how I've... This... Great, just... Oh gosh, no, I, I'm just alone. I seen you... What? Fact is, I've been...
This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. Go ahead. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Salt Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna at... But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. You mean you don't know? Why, Monarch, of course. Space Roost, as it so turns out, Saltuna... Do not take us readily to the waters of Terra 2. Scrawn. Go ahead. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see that. Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Safety and... Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We... Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor special. Ever since... I appreciate what you've done for us. Then we are at an imp. I am not per. I
coming. On my way. Look at that! The snake! I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town, and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here. Nice. 
Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome! Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Oh, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I... And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. <laughs> Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply... What can I do?
Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of an our engine room. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating with- I am prepared to bring the unreliable into lo- We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Based on my initial... How are you feeling? Gladys Kalkelly, lovely woman, runs a coast.